Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In the previous video, I shared with you some information from one of the OnStill and FreeCAD developers, Brad, and the progress of the topo naming issue. I demonstrated how this was mitigated against in the link stage branch, and we understood the topo naming issue and how it affects our models. In this video, I've got an exclusive release of the topo naming fix in 0.22, I'm going to demonstrate it with three scenarios in all of its glory so we can see it working in the real world. This is a bleeding edge release. It is not out there in the public. And I hope you enjoy and appreciate all of the work that the developers have been put in in getting this fix into place. So in front of us, we have both versions of FreeCAD open. The one on the right is a 0.22 dev one. And this one has the topological naming issue fixed within. This has been kindly given to me by one of the developers, so I can demonstrate this issue and how it's solved. On the left, we have the 0.21.2 version of FreeCAD. Let's run through a number of scenarios. So the first scenario we're gonna look at is looking at changing the size of this pad here. So if I click on this pad, press the space bar, we can see this pad here. On top of this face here, face 11, we we'll look down to the bottom left, that same face 11, we have a sketch that's been mapped upon there. This sketch here, you can see it's been mapped, support face 11. Press the space bar, you see it here. And that creates this pad. So if we move the underlying sketch to this pad, so we can see that pad there. And we've got this sketch here. At the moment, we have four faces around the outside and one face on the top. So five faces. I'll double click that and move that sketch. So it falls off the edge. It will create another face upon the bottom. If I hit close. You can see now we've got the four faces around the edge, one on the top and one at the bottom. Notice that this sketch here has moved. So it's mapped this sketch to face 11, which is now this face here. So the faces have been renamed because an extra face has been created. And we see that pad now appears here. We press the space bar on that, and I'm going to fix that now. Let's bring back the previous pad. And we'll take the sketch, this one that's created upon here, or should be created upon here, and we'll change the support. I'll come into map mode, clicking on that. Same pad 001, face 11. Delete that, click reference, and then select the top face. See the sketch now moves into position in the correct place, hit OK. And then the tip, pad 02, press the space bar on that. It's still hanging off the side, but we notice that there's a check by the sketch, which means it needs recompute. Edit, refresh, and we get the effect that we want. Let's have a look over at 0.22 now and go to that pad and do exactly the same thing. Double click on the sketch and we'll move this so it falls off the edge and hit close. As you can see, we're absolutely okay. Everything's fine, our pad has taken and our model is stable. Scenario two, let's come into the sketch. And what we'll do is add some geometry in here. Let's go for, I'm working on a very small screen. So let's go for a rectangle in here. This creates more faces. Let's hit close. So that's fine there. We get that face in there. This is stable. Let's double click that sketch again and come in and add a few more and hit close. 
Wheel good. Let's edit another sketch. So let's edit pad, the very first pad and double click that sketch. Add something like this and hit close. And you can see straight away, the topo naming has kicked in and our model is a bit of a mess. Let's look to see what happens on the right hand side here. And a 0.22 with a topo fix. Let's come into that pad, double click it, and add the squares within. And close that. All looks good, all looks stable. And I've added that to the first one. And let's add that to the second one as well. It's in a different order, but it'll still be the same and hit close. Everything's stable within. And everything looks good. So no toponaming issues there. I'm just going to revert back for the last scenario. And we're going to change the tip this time. So this is the tip here. This is the last operation in the tree. And we can add operations into this tree by coming up to say the first pad, right click and set tip. You notice we've gone back to the first pad now. Now, if I added a sketch, say on this face here, new sketch, and we'll add in a rectangle. That rectangle will be added upon that face there. And you'll notice it's been inserted underneath the pad in that tree. It's not nested in there, but we can select that sketch and we'll add an operation in here. We'll add a pocket. The toolbars are a bit cramped up at the moment because we've got these side by side. And we'll set this to 20. So this pocket's in here. Let's hit OK. So the operation has been added into the tree underneath the pad. What happens now when we select the last operation and right click and set the tip? Topological name issue kicks in and we have a problem. Let's do the same over here in 0.22. So we'll set the tip to pad, set tip. We'll use this face here. We'll create a sketch. Again, using a rectangle, tick close, set the operation to a pocket, 20 millimeters, hit OK. See the pockets there? Let's go to the last operation in that tree and move the tip by right clicking and set tip. And again, we can see that the model is stable. So there we have it. That's the toponomian mitigation for 0.22 as it stands so from that exclusive release. So I can demonstrate how far it's got. As you can see, there's been a lot of hard work that's put in. But remember, this is not complete as of yet. There is still a lot of testing and there's still a lot of development via both the free CAD developers and on still going forward to mitigate against this issue. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.